The seven star superior terror raid event has just been announced in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In today's video, we are going to cover what makes the superior such a threat and some of the best builds to help you beat this raid easily to get this exclusive Mightiest Mark Pokemon. Players will be able to challenge seven star superior when the raid goes live from the 20th till the 22nd of September. But before we get into the best Pokemon builds to make sense of them, we first need to take a look at what makes superior such a threat in battle and why it could be a little tricky to take down. In this raid, Superior will have a Grass Terra typing, giving it a 2 times same type attack bonus to all of its Grass type attacks. Because of its typing, it will have weaknesses to Fire, Ice, Poison, Flying and Bug type attacks, and one of Superior's biggest weapons it will likely use in this raid is its hidden ability Contrary. Contrary is an ability that makes all stat changes have the opposite effect, so drops become boosts and boosts become drops. One of Superior's main attacking options it will use with this ability is the grass type attack Leaf Storm. Normally this move would allow her use a special attack by two stages after use, but with the Contrary ability, it will give the user a plus two special attack instead. Contrary, although Superior's biggest asset is definitely a double-edged sword. Although it can take advantage of attacks that lower stats to now receive boosts, at the same time, it will be unable to use any normal stat boosting moves as it will essentially make it weaker. So we don't need to worry about Superior using options like Swords Dance, Calm Mind or Coil that would normally boost its attacking stats. Its coverage moves are primarily quite thin, only having access to Grass, Dragon, Normal, Flying and Dark type moves. Most of these attacking options also fall onto its physical attacking stat. And without an option to increase physical damage because of its contrary ability, Superior will struggle in this raid to hit with a lot of these options for notable damage. Its base stats are also worth looking at with 75 base attack and special attack. It's not going to be hitting anywhere near as hard as some of the previous first partner Pokemon we have faced, putting a lot of emphasis on it needing to boost these stats if possible. Its defenses are decent with 95 defense and special defense, but its speed is one of its best attributes, which will likely see it move first against whatever Pokemon we decide to bring into this raid. This is why alongside its contrary ability, Superior's reliance in this raid will be heavily based upon some of its supporting options. Having Torn to prevent setup on our side of the field could be disruptive, alongside Glare to slow our Pokemon down, paralyze us and potentially stop us from attacking. Grassy Terrain is something I could see it utilizing to boost its already powerful grass type attacks and provide some residual recovery every turn it's in effect. With Light Screen and Reflect likely being support options we could see Superior using, that will further boost its already decent defense stats and make it harder to take down. Gastro Acid is worth mentioning, this will prevent our Pokemon's abilities from taking effect for the rest of the battle we remain on the field. This for some Pokemon like Sap Sipper and Unaware users would be a huge problem. Now we know what we can expect from Superior, let's take a look at some builds that will be potentially good options to take it down. As always, all the builds will be in the description down below if you want to take a look at them after the video. The first one we're going to start off with is Delphox Fire and Psychic Typing with a Fire Terra Typing. Going to have the Shell Bell as the held item here for a line of recovery throughout the raid. And of course, like always with all of the builds that we cover in today's video, they're all going to be level 100 and have their IVs hyper trained. So they're all set to 31, just maximizing defense and attacking output. The moveset for the Del Fox is going to be Sunny Day, Skill Swap, Mystical Fire and Overheat with the ability Blaze, so just its base ability and the EV spread of 252 EVs in Special Attack and 252 EVs in Special Defense with the remaining EVs just put into that HP stat and a Modest Nature. Now the basic idea with the Del Fox is going to be utilizing the Skill Swap move. Now this is going to mean that we can steal the contrary ability off the superior so anytime it does use Leaf Storm it's not going to be effective into the Delphox but it will drop its special attack rather than give it a boost where we'd normally see that happen if it had the contrary ability. Then that's where it comes into effect for us. We'll have the contrary ability and then can utilize the overheat move which would again normally drop our special attack but actually with contrary will give us a special attacking boost we can also combine that with the mystical fire 
that's going to actually, without the contrary ability on the superior, lower its special attack by one stage every time we use it. And then Sunny Day is an option there. You could change that for Light Screen, but Sunny Day will boost the power of those fire type attacks. Light Screen could give you a little bit more security against those attacks coming out from superior. Now, the only thing that worries me with this strategy is that superior, not the best defensive Pokemon. So I could potentially see the shield going up very early on in the raid if that does happen, or if we see a taunt come out early on onto our side of the field, it's going to prevent us from being able to skill swap. Might mean that this strategy is not going to be that useful going into the raid. But of course, we won't know that until the event goes live later this week. But otherwise, I think if we don't see this shield going up very early on and we don't see a taunt, I think the skill swap could be a very good option. And Delphox probably one of those options that I think because it has the fire typing to go alongside it. The overheat just works so well. Really good option going into the superior. Another skill swap user is going to be Galarian Slowking. It has that poison typing, going to be able to resist those grass type attacks that come out from the superior alongside its psychic typing. But Terra type is going to be poison. Shell Bell, again, for a line of recovery in the raid, is going to be the held item, level 100 and hyper trained. With the moveset of skill swap, Calm Mind, Acid Spray, and Sludge Wave. Ability here doesn't really matter because primarily we'll be looking to skill swap that ability away and obtain that contrary ability where possible. The EV spread is going to be 252 EVs in special attack and special defense with the remaining EVs in HP and a modest nature. And the basic idea with this slowking is you're going to have to be quite careful in the battle when you decide to use what move because if the superior has got its contrary ability, then you can't use the Acid Spray because that'll in fact give it a plus two to its special defenses. So you can only use that move when you have skill swap the contrary onto yourself. Vice versa, you can't use Calm Mind once you do receive the contrary ability because you'll be lowering your special defense and special attack when you're using it rather than boosting it. So you've got to get those off if you are relying on that boosting option before you use the skill swap. And that might be a little bit conflicting because skill swap going to be one of those options that you probably want to use early on in the raid. But a combination of skill swap turn one, if you can get contrary, use acid spray onto the superior and then just utilize the sludge wave after you've been able to trash should be enough to be able to take down the superior pretty easily. Next option is Venusaur. I think a very good option. It's got a four times resist to grass type attacks because of its grass and poison typing. The Terra type is going to be poison here. Held item again going to be the Shell Bell item. And the move set is going to be Worry Seed, Growth, Acid Spray, and Sludge Bomb. The EV spread is going to be very similar to the other Pokemon we've covered with 252 EVs in Special Attack and Special Defense with the remaining EVs in HP and a modest nature. The ability here, not really so important, but we've got Chlorophyll as the hidden ability, but Overgrow will be fine if you want to go with that one. The basic idea for the Venusaur is going to be utilizing Worry Seed early on. Now that will make sure that when you hit the target Pokemon, its ability will change from whatever it was into Insomnia. So that is one of the plus sides. We get rid of that contrary as soon as possible. Once that has been removed, we're going to use Acid Spray to lower the special defense on the target Pokemon, the superior. And then we're going to be able to Terrasilize after that. Hopefully, if it doesn't steal our Terra Orb charge, then we can utilize Growth. That's going to boost our attack and our special attack every time we use it. If the sun is set up for whatever reason, Superior does get Sunny Day, then it will mean that we get a plus two boost when using that move when the sun's in effect. And then we've got Sludge Bomb as our main attacking option here with the Venusaur. I do think a very good option. The only caveat problem is going to be if the shield goes up again early on in the raid, Worry Seed will fail. It will not work through the shield. So then we'll have to look for other options. But otherwise, I think Venusaur could be a very good option to run through this pretty easily this weekend. Next up is Armor Rouge. I do think a very solid option. It doesn't really rely on the fact of the shield going up early on. It's got options to slow down the superior and then hit it for good, super effective damage. Terra typing here is going to be the fire typing. Shell Bell, again, a line of recovery throughout the raid. It will make sure that we have that health going forward. The moveset is going to be clear smog, calm mind, light screen, and flamethrower. The ability here not really going to matter. Flash fire, superior doesn't get any fire type attacks, but the EV spread is going to be set up to take attacks pretty well from the superior um, and make sure that we can get ourselves set up with 252 EVs in HP and special defense with the remaining four in special attack with a modest nature. And the basic idea with this armor rouge is going to be utilizing the clear smog move. That will work through the shield as well. So if we do see 
contrary, we do see Leaf Storm where it is setting its special attack up. We can keep that in check by resetting those boosts anytime we hit it with a clear smog. It's going to be nice. We've got the light screen as well to make sure that we can take any other attacking options that the superior's got, maybe like Dragon Pulse in this raid. And then Combine's going to be a way to set up in this raid, boosting our special attack and then relying on Flamethrower. Once we have Terrasilize, we can use a combination of Flamethrower to hit for big damage and then just keep that superior in check with the clear smog. So I think because it's available in the base games as well, available to everyone, a good option and pretty solid going through this raid. Skeledurge is going to be a very good option in this raid as long as we don't see the superior have Gastro Acid. Now, if it has Gastro Acid and takes away our unaware ability, that could be a big problem for the Skeledurge. But otherwise, I think a very good option. Fire Terror Typing, Shell Bell, again, as the held item for a line of recovery. And the moveset is going to be Protect, Sunny Day, Lick and Torch Song. The ability, of course, we've mentioned it already, is going to be the most important thing that we see on the Skeletor Dirge. That's going to make sure that we ignore any of those stat boosts on its side of the field. Meaning if it is utilizing the Leaf Storm, the contrary ability, and it is getting those boosts, we don't get affected by it. The EV spread is going to be 252 EVs in Special Attack and Special Defense with a modest nature and the remaining four EVs into that HP stat. And the basic idea is the protects there and it nullifies our stats and abilities on our side of the field. So the turn where it does that, we are going to need to protect because it will take away our unaware ability for at least one turn. We can protect on that and not get knocked out, not take any big damage unnecessarily. Sunny Day is there to boost the power of Torch Song. The nice thing about Torch Song is every time we use it, we'll boost our special attack by one stage. So essentially getting stronger every turn. And Licks there just as a filler move because it has the chance to paralyze the superior, which could play a nice role in the raid if we need it. But of course, that can be changed out for other options if you feel something is a little bit more valuable than Lick. But that's the Skeledurge. Like I said, the only thing that's going to really cause us a lot of issues it's going to be if we see Gastro Acid as an option on that superior. And I guess Gastro Acid turn one would be the worst thing where Skeledurge is probably just not going to be an option at all throughout that raid. Because after that, you'd need to faint, come back onto the field and then go on from there. Next up is Azumarill. And although this seems like a really odd option to bring into a grass terror type Pokemon, it is actually going to work pretty well when you look at the coverage options that superior has got. Azumarill could be one of those Pokemon that we can bring to this raid and it can completely wall out anything that the superior can do. I think again, a little bit like the Skeledurge, it falls a bit afraid of if we see Gastro Acid, that could be a huge problem for this Pokemon. Level 100 again, Shell Bell held item. Terra typing here is quite important, is that stellar Terra typing. We don't want to get rid of either the water or the fairy typing in this raid. The big important thing for the Azumarill though is going to be that Sap Sipper ability. It's its hidden ability. Make sure it's got it. It will take no damage from grass type attacking moves, meaning the superior can fire away with those leaf storms as much as it wants, but it's not going to be able to do any damage. And also, if you look at the other options that superior has in its arsenal, one of those is Dragon Pulse that we could probably see it utilizing. And because of the fairy typing, we're not we're going to be immune to that as well. So completely immune to there's two big attacking options that Superior could have access to. EV spread is going to be 252 EVs in HP, 252 in attack with an adamant nature. The remaining can be put into that special defense stat. And the moveset again is going to be protect, belly drum, brick break, and ice spinner. So the idea behind this is the protect there for when it nullifies our stats and abilities. We can protect on that next turn to make sure that our Sap Sipper is protected. So we'll come back after that turn and we don't get knocked out from a very strong Leaf Storm. Belly Drum's there to maximize our attacking stat when we've got the opportunity to. Break Break is a great option because it allows us then to get rid of the screen support that the Superior could set up. Light Screen Reflect will be taken off the field with the Break Break option. An Ice Spinner is going to be our super effective attacking option. It's going to do good, super effective damage to the superior throughout the raid, especially after we do terrestrialize into that stellar terror type. But Azumarill, I think, could be a sleeper pick. Like I say, I think one of those options where the only thing that's going to give it issues is the gastro acid on that superior. If we don't see that, I think Azumarill could be the one. 
but we'll wait and see. I think once we know the superior's moveset, determining a solo build will actually be quite easy. But of course, we won't know that until the event goes live later this week. As soon as it does, as always, we'll put out a best solo builds to easily beat this Mightiest Mog Pokemon in your game. If you found today's video useful, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, let me know down in the comment section below what you think will work well into the 7 star superior raid when it goes live later this week. I'd love to hear your opinions. Thanks for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in another one very soon.